So here we are, the second episode of partial pre-creasing tutorial and this one, if you can't already tell by the title of the description, the title of the video that is Satoshi Kimiya's Pegasus B3 So this is the reference, right here and what we have, we've got one line, two line and then three line so basically this crease is 45 degrees and then this line here is the bisector and then this crease right here is folding from this point to this point and making a pinch mark so we're, what we're going to do is first of all fold the paper in half and I'll colour in all the creases as well so it's much easier to see and I do apologise if there's background uh, noise uh, a lot of houses are getting redone where I stay so there'll probably be a lot of construction work hopefully you can't hear it that much So that is the centre crease. I will also draw on this crease pattern as well to show what creases we are making. And that should be noticeable. Again I'll have the crease pattern in the description. Now for the actual reference is this point right here where we are looking to make. Now this point indicates on the crease pattern is right here, this VX part right here, this is this is where we're looking for so first of all we're going to make the 45 degree crease right here I'm just going to crease it strong so it's easier to see I'm, I'm not going to colour in the references otherwise it will confuse you later on so we have this, now we need to make the bisector all the way up, so the easiest way to do this is change this to a mountain fold and line up with the centre. Again remember these creases aren't fully needed, so just either make them lightly. So now we have this. And now we make a crease, well, a general crease from the bottom left corner up to the point we just made. And then where this line, where, wherever, about, wherever it hits this halfway mark, make a pinch. I really can't see that, so I'm just trying to turn around. There. And then this is where the halfway, this is where it hits, so make a pinch. Again, be precise as possible. I want you to really take your time when you do this. So I'm going to colour in the reference as well. Right here. So this is the mark we just made. And this indicates. Again, I'll show you again, this point on the crease pattern. So now we make a full straight line from this point here. I'll do it this way because it's easier to see. And just as I start recording, that cat appears. It's Elvis. Every time, I need, I need to stop to feed him. So there we go. Let me colour in this line. Although I don't have the full line. So there we go. We have this crease. Now that we have made those, 
So these are the two major creases that we've got already. So if we going to work on the top part of the round. So if we look at, look at it like this and we count from here to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So this part right here can be divided into sixteen. So I'm gonna let you do that. I don't need to show you how to do that. Straightforward divisions. And I will cut to the next. Now we have got 16 divisions equally on this top part. Now what we want to try and do is find out the next reference. So that is this line right here. This one right here. So if we look, so basically from here to here is 8 units. But if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units, and then we have 1, 2, 3. So this part is in 4, this part is in 3. In total it is 8 units, though this half is in thirds, where this is in fourths. So what we do is, we fold edge to edge, make a diagonal, and we will make a pinch mark on where it hits the 8th line going across and where that pinch mark is which I'm going to assume from looking at right here we make the straight line down which gives us the necessary crease to make these parts so let me show you what I mean so we're going to take edge to edge and then we're going to count 8 so 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then make the V pinch unfold it, so let me just check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 alright, let me just draw this in as well so you can see, the pen is a mess there so this mark right here now we make a line straight down through the mark again the crease doesn't go all the way down the crease stops here but I'm I am making it anyway to help out to show you show you uh, easier. In fact, I'll actually just stop it like right there because that's where it stops anyway, near enough. Again, we're going to do the exact same on this side. So edge to edge. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then make this straight line through that pinch mark. So just stop it right there. Like so. No in fact. I'll extend it all the way down because I'll need it anyway. Right, so let me just draw on this. Now we have made this line and this part is an eight, so we can fold edge to edge and make this halfway mark all the way down and as you can see the halfway mark makes this big line right here the outside one going straight down so we're going to make that crease
and the same again on this side. I really can't wait till I make this first part so I can pre-crease mine. I've been dying to make this model for ages. Had the paper ready, so I finally get the chance. And we make this crease. I think I should have used a different colour of pen for these creases. I will do that for next time, maybe like a, like a bright colour so it's easy to spot. Whereas black it's quite hard to tell. But we have made this crease. Um, no, this one right here. And this one. So we can now divide. We'll do this part first because uh, it's easier. So divide this part into four all the way up. So the right hand side into four. So this is this section right here. That we will divide into four equal bits. Again, it's so tricky to see from this angle. Actually, I'll try it this way because I've got again, I've got a tripod right in front of my face, and it's quite tricky to see and be precise. Now we have fours. Now, this part we divide into three, there is no easy way to do this. So basically just try your best. This is what I do. Try and zoom in. So I make the value fold on this crease, this one here. No fact this way up. Let me see. Yep. So I do this. Fold up on that third, on that halfway mark, fold down, and then fold it back up and then you're just trying to adjust each layer to try and get it correct. So to me that's perfect. But again, really take your time when you do this. You want it to be as precise as possible. I'm happy with that. Then I can see this part has to come down a wee bit. Again, I want you to take your time when you do this. I'm going quite quick, just to try and also get through the whole process. But I want you, yours to be as precise as possible. Oops. It needs to come up more. So we have that. Now if I zoom out just a wee bit and unfold it, we have thirds, which is exactly what we need. Then we're going to colour this in so you can see even better. And there we have it. We have thirds on this side and fourths on this side. What I want you to do now it's the exact same on this side, so pardon me, divide into four on the left hand column and then into thirds on the right hand column. So if you've done it correctly, you should have this. So the same again, we have got thirds on the left hand sides and then fourths on the inner parts. So the, the last part that I'm going to show you for the top half is just 
the basic creases for this part right here. So what we are going to do is fold the bisector of these two lines right here. So fold this line onto this line or vice versa and we are going to make four units worth of a crease. So we're going to make one, two, three, four. And then we're going to make a pinch mark and then we're going to make a straight line all the way up and then we're going to divide that part into four. So let me show you what I mean. So we're going to make the bisector between these two lines. And then we're going to count four units. One, two, three, four. And then make the crease. Unfold it. And then I'll colour this in. What colour should I use for this? I really need another colour. Especially for the... For actually making the crease on the diagram. Crease pattern I meant to say. Right, so we have here, we have four units. So from this point, make the line straight up. Starting from this point. So easy enough, just fold this, let me zoom in a wee bit. Fold this over, find the pinch mark, which is right here. Like that. And I need to get a better pen as well, this one is rubbish. Now funny enough, I've, I've picked out a pen before I started this video and I've lost it, I have no idea where it went. So we have this. And this line right here is this line right here. So now what we can do is divide this part into four and stop it where it hits the diagonal. So we can divide this section into four. It feels so weird doing the divisions this way. Right, can't really see it like that, so colour it in again. God damn it, pen. <laughs> One. No, hi. Damn pen, rubbish. Can't even see the crease. So we have that, and that is the left hand side done for this part. You can make all these creases with this grid and the wee extra ones on the outside. So we have all this. Now repeat everything that we've just done here on the right hand side. Right, so now we have this. So you should have this, just make sure and double check you have everything before we continue. Even pause the video right now. Okay, so true. On the crease pattern, the creases we have made as well. So the four diagonals going up, the, uh, the crease straight up, and then each side into four, and then the same on the other side. So you have all the necessary creases you need to make the inner artwork inside. So that is all 
of the top part I'm going to show you. Your job now is to figure out all the rest and I'll say this again because this video, this type of videos are called partial pre-creasing is because I show you how to make half the creases or most of the creases and then you figure out how to make the rest and I'm doing this because this is a great way to learn how to fold crease patterns and understand the principles of pre-creasing and how to actually go about doing it. So you will have fun doing this and you can do it, I know you can. Right, so we've done the top, we're going to move on to the bottom. Now, as you can see, if you can, uh, which pen? I've found another pen, it's the same one, uh, I'm not sure which one's the old one. Oh, which one's the old one? Uh, I'll leave it there now, Let's take this one. Anyway, so we have made, we have this crease right here, which is the start of the thirds, which is this one right here. Now, if you look at this crease right here, it's the bisector, or, so basically take this bottom edge, fold it to the centre, and stop where it hits this edge right here. So we're going to do that. So this bottom edge to the center and stop it when it hits the start of this third. And then that's where it hits, so we're going to stop right there. I'm also going to do the same on this side. In fact, I've already got it because of the pre-crease at the start. We have this. And from the crease pattern, we have this line right here, which is the exact 90 degree crease right here. So if we turn the paper around, we can see that this line runs straight down. So all we need to do is take this edge, fold it over, and make a crease starting from this intersection right here, straight up. Go to the edge of the paper and up a wee bit. So we're going to do that. And the same again here, but we'll do this side first. So fold this up, and this intersection right here, try and get close. There we go. And then we make the crease right to the edge of the paper and up a little bit. Like so. Let me call this in. So just like that. And then we're going to repeat it on this side. Now we have this. Now what we're going to do is work on this wee bottom bit first. So these creases are basically bisectors. So well first of all we'll make this one, the centre one, which is edge to edge, up about three quarters of the way, then fold this edge to the halfway mark, make the bisector, repeat it on this side and then we'll connect up the dots at the end. So we're first of all going to make the halfway mark, not all the way up to the end, but most of the way. So about there we'll do. Again I'll colour in every crease to make it as easy as possible for you to follow. like so. Now we will take this edge, fold it onto this crease and make it stop when it hits the diagonal. Like that. And then we all do the same here. We all take this edge and fold it onto this edge and make the bisector up about this amount because we're going to need to do the same here 
and then stop it where they both connect. I need to change mine, so we're going to take this crease and fold it onto this crease. And we're going to fold it about three quarters of the way again. And then the same again, this crease onto this crease and stop where it hits the crease we just made. Then unfold and you should have this. And then last but not least, as you see in the crease pattern, we are missing one big crease and that is from this point to this point. And there we go. We have then made that bottom section right here, I'm going to colour this in So again, we're just going to extend this crease until it hits the bisector. We'll just quickly do it like this. And we have one more crease to make, which is this one right here. So we basically connect this point to this point. And it's a straight crease, so you can fold this edge up and start the crease here and then connect it. But it's probably easier to just do it this way. So, just like that. So there we go, we have basically made the bottom part, bottom left part right here, I want you to do the exact same on this side. So everything we've just done here, repeat, now we have this, you should have this, again double check, make sure you have. Now what we're going to do is, make, what oh, I forgot to colour and I'll do that later on, we're going to again make the bisector between these two creases. We're going to make this crease right here and then we're going to connect this point up to this point. So I'll do the left hand side first. So we're going to take this edge, fold it to this edge. And then there's no exact amount, yeah, in fact to keep it the same here. So it stops about here. What is up with these pens? And then we are going to fold this edge over and start a crease from here straight up while keeping this edge aligned with this edge right here.
and then make it all the way up until you hit the diagonal so I can just see the crease right here and then unfold and if you can see that we have that crease so it needs to come down a wee bit more And then I want you to repeat these two creases on this side. So we have this now. Now what we want to do is, we're going to make this crease right here. From here to here. So this point goes straight down to the halfway mark. But not all the way. So two, no, two units less. So if you look at, it, look at it this way, this heads straight into this corner right here. So that's from here to here, but we stop two units less, so we'll stop about there. So I've lined up with the halfway mark, but I'm going to stop two units less, so it's right there. And then crease, unfold, so we have this. And then I'll just colour in this wee part to show you. So this part, let me zoom in. This part right here is this part right here. So right here, the exact same. Where am I pointing? And now we make point from here straight down. So a point from here straight down. Then unfold. Like that. So do the exact same. Oh, pardon me. Do the exact same on this side. So we have made these creases right here. Boom, boom, boom. Then the same here. So next one we can do is if we look here. So basically we have two bisectors. This is basically in thirds, so how do we divide into thirds? You could divide into thirds, but you're giving yourself so much work. If we look right here, this crease is the eighth crease that we made previously. Let me just show you this crease right here, the very end one. Where this crease comes up and hits this crease we just made, we can make a point from here straight down. So again, where this eighth crease comes up, then it hits here. So from here, we can make a crease from this point to there. Then unfold, repeat on this side. Like that. So it should work like that. So what we're going to do next is we are going to make fill in some of the wee gaps in this part. So if you see we already have this crease, and if you can tell this crease right here is based on a straight line. They're both the same on this side. So this crease right here is mirrored from this crease. So that allows us to find this reference point right here. So let me show you what I mean. 
this crease is mirrored on the other side so if we make a mountain fold on this part and then just fold it over and only crease the top part like that unfold it and then we have this point right here like that and now we can connect this point to that point as you see in the crease pattern this point connects to this point then once we make that we can extend it up further Oh, arm goes off by a mile. This pen rubbish. I think I'm using the same old pen. No, I think they're both dead. Anyway, you have that. Now what we're going to do is basically make this a mountain fold and extend it up about halfway because we're going to make the bisector here and connect them up so the easiest way to do this is depending on what crease you've made it for made it as, so either a mountain or valley mine is a mountain fold so I'm just going to fold this over and then extend it up make sure this part is flat first so that way you get a straight continuation of the crease in the right direction Now, let's see if this works any better. I think that's the old, think that's the old one. No, they're both, they're both probably down on me at this moment. Right, so we have this. Now we take this edge and fold it onto this edge to make the bisector and stop it where it hits this crease right here. Because we are making this part right now. And as you can see, we have the bisector, we already have this crease, so we just need to make this one to fill in this section. So take this edge, and fold it onto this edge. Unfold and you see it hits here, so that's where it stops. Just like that. And then what we do now is We just connect this point to this point. So we connect this point right here to this point right here. And unfold and we have that. Don't dial me pen, or my fingers are going to be black after all this. Yeah, I'm going to need to change that pen, that looks ugly. Right, so we have that. Now, everything we've just done on this side, repeat it on the left hand side. Now we have this. Now what we can do is make this crease right here. Very straightforward one. This one right here, connect a point from this crease to here. So what you other side, this point to this point. Like that. 
and I will colour it in. I got another pen by the way. Blue one so it's going to look quite different. Doesn't work as good but it's better than the previous ones. Then we're going to repeat again on this side. Okay, so now what we want to do is make the bisector between this crease and this crease and stop it where it hits right here. So let me see, probably this was the easiest. Oh, I'm still zoomed in. Like that. And then we can, let me see, yep, make from this point to this point. So from this crease to this part right here, like that. Now repeat those two creases on this side. Now we have this. Right, we're going to make a few more creases and then I'm going to leave you to do the rest. So from this edge crease that we have made near the beginning, we have, yep, we have one, two, three more units worth over to the right. So we have three more units of paper we need, three more units of squares we need to make, or lines, but we're going to make this crease first. This, we've already got it on this side, so we just need to make it on this side. And to do that, make the mountain fold on the crease we stopped, and then make the mountain fold right here. Then unfold it, and then I will quickly colour this in. So we have this now. Now we need to make a line basically going straight down, as in the crease pattern right here. We've just made that crease right here. So we need to make a line straight down, not all the way, like I don't know, is it one, two, three, four, five units worth. So the easiest way to do it is let me see. Yep, make this the valley fold, the center crease, the valley fold, fold down two units worth of paper, and then just line up this edge with that crease and make how much is it? One, two, three, four, five. I think it's five. Five units worth. So we have that. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. And I'm going to show you on the crease pattern. One, two, three, four, five or six. So we have that. This right here. Now we connect this point to this point. Cool. 
something like that, so we have that. And then repeat that on the left hand side to keep everything nice and symmetrical. Now we have this, we are on the last leg of the crease pattern. So a few more creases, maybe like one, two, three, four, five more creases, four or five more creases and then we are good to go. So we're going to make this crease right here. Now how do we make this crease? We don't know what angle this crease goes up, we don't have any references to whereabouts this goes. We have no lines coming across to tell us whereabouts to, act to actually meet up or any of these creases, but we can tell from one thing. This crease right here is 45 degrees. This crease right here is 90 degrees. So if you look at it like this, if we were to draw a line, I'll just basically do that. So the right half of this upside down triangle is the exact same as the left half. So we can make a, a 90 degree crease by folding up either, the, probably this point, straight up, line it up with this edge, and then make a crease straight up to there. So let me show you. So the crease starts here. Uh, let me just hide this extra paper away first because it's probably easier this way actually. Now I've hidden this paper away because there's too much paper on this side to fold over this side and it would be awkward to try and line up. So we're going to fold over. Let me see where is the crease. It's right there. So first of all find the crease. With a pinch mark, uh, let me see if that's correct. So I've got the pinch mark, I've got it pinched, now I'm checking to make sure that these two lines lie on top of each other, not to the sides, not off center, on top of each other, they need to lie exactly on top of each other. And they are from the looks of it. So once I've got that, I'm just going to make this crease. Then unfold, and as you see, we have made that crease which is 90 degrees going straight up. Now we connect point to point or edge to edge. And we have just made this. These two creases. So repeat those two creases on the right hand side. Now the final crease we are going to make is simply connecting this point to this point. And that is a one straight 90 degree crease. Now the funny thing is I just found out that this side is perfect for me, but because I made this part slightly too high up, it ended up bringing this part a bit lower down. So as you can see, I'm off by a wee bit, which isn't good, but we're going to make this crease. Uh, the right hand side is perfect, so we're going to start off with that. So as you can see by me being off, see that this is where the crease should have went. I am off by a wee bit and then I've used the wrong crease to make the rest of the creases, therefore I am off quite a bit. So well, that's pretty annoying. But anyway. Yours shouldn't be like that, yours should line up perfectly. I can't believe that happened. Oh, um Right, that is it, that is the start at the end of uh, Satoshi Kimiya's Pegasus B3 partial pre-crease. I will now go ahead and pre-crease my own model 
which I will try and do a collapse for. So, good luck with this. If you need any help, let me know in the comments or anywhere else, and I will do it as best I can. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out in a way that you can hopefully make this model. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you.